waiting on you. They gonna be, they about to be over. Shake off, shake it off. I know how to do it. Like shake, yeah. I know. I've never seen you do that before. I literally just did this before we opened it back up to go to the bathroom. All right, guys, got our camper back temporarily. We'll catch you up on that later, but uh, let's go camping. third time coming to Devil's Backbone but this is actually our first time having a odd numbered site and we had heard that the odd sites here at Devil's Backbone are a little bit um, awkward as far as the sewer connections and the electrical woes um, so I think you need to have a really long hose in order for it to work out to your benefit you think it'll be able to fit Henry I don't know. so here's where the tank is and then the sewer connection is all the way back there but then the electrical is all the way over there so find out. as you can see I thought you passed gas. You have a problem, Houston. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the vlog. I um had a hard time on this one because the uh, hookups are kind of spread out very awkwardly on this site. So we're just gonna have to just act like we're at a state park and not be wasteful with water and take quick showers. So it's only two nights. We've done this quite a few times, so we should be able to get through two nights without filling the black tank or gray tank. Actually, the gray tank. That's what I'm worried about, not the black tank. Still overall, one of my favorite campgrounds. This is our third time here. Maya was mentioning that the odd numbers have awkward hookups so if you come to the campground be mindful of that you might need an extra either extension for your electrical or for your sewage pipes pre-gaming before the ball drops checking out the brewery <laughs> Like stuff, but I'm gonna see if I like this one. It's like a coffee. It tastes like coffee. Yeah. This is a uh, mocha latte. Porter. And this is a cosmopolitan IPA. What is that? I'll verify that later. So right now we're waiting for a couple friends who are camping with us this weekend. And they've met them, right? In yeah. the previous video? Yep. That was at... Um, Grace Point. Grace Point Camp. Yeah. That, yeah. This will be a fun evening. Yeah, if you haven't seen that video, you can check it out right here. Oh, you pointed at the right spot. I, I, I just figured out to point <laughs> to the left all the time, right? I didn't know that. I always do both sides. <laughs> So it's raining and um, it's only 10 minutes to 8 and I'm already tired so I don't know how I'm going to stay awake. But anyway, it's raining so Melo hasn't gone out so I'll put on his uh, rain gear and he is not happy at all. Melo, get up. Elena, try to get him to stand up. Come on, Melo, come on. Get up. Let's go. You did it. Come here, buddy. <laughs> there you go. I knew you could walk. <laughs> I knew you could walk. Do you want? I am not walking that dog. <laughs> Why? I refuse. <laughs> it's ridiculous. If you want this outfit, it can be found on Sheen. He's a dog. 
don't need clothes. But he's going to get so muddy. Happy New Year, everybody. Good morning. It's been raining all morning, but look at the views. Look at the views. It's already about lunchtime. I was hoping to get on over to the uh, restaurant today and get some food. But we'll see what happens. We have our buddies here staying behind us. Jay and Sherry showing us their new fifth wheel. We'll do a little tour on that later. But uh, we're all being lazy this morning, just relaxing. Enjoying the sound of the raindrops on the rig. I'm starting to get really, really annoyed. So supposedly um, this was fixed the last time we dropped it off at General RV. And I'm glad that we actually take it out this weekend before having to take it back to them because look at this leak that just happened. It's all, it's all wet. So this is after they quote unquote fixed this front leak. So obviously it's not fixed and Henry's trying to like put towels up in this like crease area above the window where all the water's coming in. That was my angry voice. <laughs> I can't even believe you're body, smiling right now. So hot right for you. How are you not super angry right now? I'm not surprised. But no, like Henry said, this is probably a good thing because now they can see that they didn't fix it when we take it back. This is so annoying. Oh my god. Stalin. There's a bug on him. They can make an appearance to the channel. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Different year, same Elena. Huh? She's new and improved. Say something. She got what? hair cut. Do you have any resolutions this year okay. that you want to accomplish? Um, I don't know. One? Not a one? What's yours? I asked you first. <laughs> Let me hear yours first. No. What's I'll your, tell you mine. What's your resolution? I'll what? tell you mine. I'm going to get um, little squares all over my belly. You actually want a six pack? And triangles along my sides and some trapezoids on my traps okay so you want you you want to be generally fit. like a skeleton skeleton i mean let's got a little muscle <laughs> here <laughs> just give me one i know you got one she's like she's about to punch you like her hand you want to make an author stance <laughs> no i'm not I, I got one you can pick how about fluently speak korean or or at least understand it fluently or something. Well, but she I don't mean, look very excited. Oh, I got one. For Go back to school. Oh, okay. It's not gonna be till near the end of the year. What's your resolution this year, bud? Mm -hmm. What's your New Year's resolution? To have good grades. Good grades. Good grades. Okay. And I guess mine is gonna be to keep stacking sats. Wow. That's all you care about is the money? No, I care about Satoshi's. Yeah, that's money. What True. about your family? Why, because mine didn't have nothing? No, mine actually has something to do with family because if I stay healthy, I stay around longer for you guys. Wow. So I'm really thinking of you all. I'm thinking of you all. Yeah. Stacking sets. <coughs> Thinks of everybody. Helps the world. <laughs> okay. Satoshi's fix everything. <laughs> Alright, so we were walking over to the base camp to have lunch and beer, but apparently we didn't get the memo that they shut down for COVID. So <laughs> we were literally there yesterday and I asked specifically asked the guy if they go they were gonna be open today. And he said yeah. 
So this is a last minute thing, for real. Yeah. So we were wondering why so many people were packing up and leaving, but apparently that's why, because they got an email saying that they were closing down, so. Oh. I'll give them another excuse to come back another time, right? Yeah. So a change of plans again. We're going to go to Wild Wolf Brewing. Is it Wild Wolf? It's a little bit closer to the campground. So we made it back from Wild Wolf and that place, thumbs up. So now I'm going to show you guys, because it's going to rain tonight, I'm going to start the fire a little bit earlier and a little trick that I think I figured out. Because you guys know that when you make fire and you buy wood from the campground, usually the wood is a little bit hard to burn. It's a struggle sometimes. The wood hasn't been dried out long enough or... Whatever the case may be, the wood was damp. And so now I think I figured out a trick to kind of maximize that efficiency. And uh, we just may have to supplement a few things that uh, you got to bring with you. This right here, guys. Check this out. I got this from uh, And it's about 10 bucks. So it makes two fires, that's up to five hours. But all you're going to use is one one of these pieces that will heat up the wood to a temperature where it'll sustain a lot better so instead of using this for one or two fires you could just stretch it out for about eight fires or so by just using one piece mixed with the local firewood at the campground so you're basically just going to use one piece here for the center of the fireplace i'll show you guys how to build that and then you're going to use your uh these fat wood sticks to uh start your fire and then typically I just use about three fat wood sticks this bag will last me several camp camping trips so one bag which is about six bucks goes a long way last but not least get your little handy dandy propane torch Give that a few minutes to uh, ignite and we should be good to go. Now as you can see, most of the heat is coming from that little piece in the center, that core. It really burns hot enough to get it all nice and going. Usually I have a hard time with camp firewood. It's usually too damp or hasn't been um, treated properly or been through the whole drying process. And it burns real weakly, and you gotta keep lighting it over and over. I hate doing that. But so this system with this little cord that's about 10 bucks, like once again, that I found at Home Depot, will help you get that fire going well initially. But yeah, that should burn well moving forward. Another thing you might wanna have is a nice little uh, poker. This is like a uh, marshmallow hot dog kind of skewer poker thing. And I've had it since we first started camping. So they last pretty much forever as long as you don't bend it. And even if you bend it, you can straighten it out. So not a bad little tool to have in your arsenal. It's burning nice and hot. I think I'm gonna call this uh, little trick of mine the camping secret. What do you think? That might be my title for this video. I'm gonna have to run that by the boss lady. Secret. Don't tell nobody. This is about to wrap up our trip here at Devil's Backbone. We reached 2,000 subs, so guys, we are so appreciative for uh, you know those of you who have been watching, and we really um, are happy to take you guys on our journey with us. Please 
you know, share our channel with your friends who are interested in RVing. We really, really do appreciate that. We want to give a shout out to Jay and Sherry who tagged along with us on this trip. We had a ball. They have a nice new rig over there. Yeah, we'll do a tour eventually. Yeah. It was a really rainy weekend, so we didn't really get to do that. Yeah, anyway, guys. have a great 2022. And we'll see you on the next one. Stay safe. Peace. Bye. Thank you.